Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to install the DeepSeek in your Windows 10 computer as a local AI. And start from now, I'm going to show you all this step by step. First, what you need to do is just go to your web browser and search for GPT-4R and press enter. Then just go to click the GPT-4 or if you see the Normic, the Normic AI, just go, go and install for your window, download for Windows, click. Then, as there are more, I'm going to just download it on my desktop. I click save. Now it is downloaded. It is downloading. So now this is the installer. What you need to do is just double click and install it in your computer. Next, next. Accept the license, next, next, install. The GPT-4 is the GUI, and later I'm going to show you how to install the DeepSeek in GPT-4. And now you just need for, to wait for a while until it is finished, downloaded, and installed. Now you can see it already finished install. Just click finish. You should be able to see a GPT-4 or just double click it. And we, we can use the GPT-4 or to run the DeepSeek and install the DeepSeek for free. And it is going to install in your computer. So now the GPT-4 or here, just choose no. And then go to the chat. You can see you not yet install any AI model. LLM. So what you need to do is just go to the model, just click add a model, then click reasoning. Here, you should be able to see the deep seek. And it depends on your computer, which version are you going to download. So for this, the RAM requires 60, 16 GB, 8 GB. So as demo, I'm going to just download this. Just click download and wait for a while. It is going to download the DeepSeek R1. Now you can see it almost finished after a few seconds. Right now it is installing. This is really the DeepSeek. And later I'm going to test it step by step in front of you. How to use it, the DeepSeek. R1 14B. Alright, now you can see once it finished install, you should be able to see a remove. If you see the remove means you already done the installations. Next you can just go to the chat. Now I choose the model, the DeepSeek R1. We are going to test it. Now it is loading the DeepSeek R1 distilled. Right now. Once it finished loading, actually you can see you can attach some single file, any supported file like the Excel file text document for the GPT-4. So now I'm going to just test anything. I just say hi to the DeepSeek. Now it is generating the it is generating the message. You can ask the DeepSeek any questions. For example, what is global warming? Now this this is running offline. You don't need to to connect to the internet. You still can use it anytime. And this is running inside your computer locally. And next I'm going to show you where are the files. The files actually, it is at the, just right click, open the file explorer, at the local disk C, user, user, app data, local, nomic AI, GPT-4, the big models is at here, you can see, it is about 8 GB in this location. Right. 
Now it is still thinking and now now it is answering. Global warming refer to the long term increase. Blah blah blah. Now after finish thinking, you can see the deep seek. How the deep seek is is thinking and answer you. These are all all the algorithm. That's how it think. The reasoning process and finally it show you the answer. It show you. The conversation all right let me check the system resources the performance the RAM still okay you can see my PC RAM is 32 GB it just use a little bit and then the CPU is utilizing the GPU my GPU is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 it's it is just using half of it. Now it is still answering. And so far so good. Everyone can use the deep seek in their computer, the window 10. Just install the GPT-4 or you can get the deep seek. All right. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to install and run the deep seek in your computer, run locally, install locally offline without the internet and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to you then you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and, and select all so that when next time i publish a new videos tutorials or sharings you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy